a major controversy in high school wrestling which has gone national at this point. All this after a sophomore boy refused to compete against a girl in a state tournament. Joel Northrup said he withdrew because of his personal and religious beliefs. We're going to speak with him in just a moment. First, though, here's a look at how his decision has sparked a national debate. For a high school wrestler in Iowa, the chance to compete for the state championship is a revered and time-honored tradition. Sophomore standout Joel Northrup entered last week's state tournament ranked fifth in his weight class. He was hoping to come home with a title, but made the decision instead to walk away from the competition right before his first match. Northrup was pitted against 14-year-old Cassandra Herkelman, one of two girls to ever qualify for the state finals in its 85-year history. I feel like more people will start like to wrestle, just like knowing that you can do it if you put your mind to it. But Northrup refused to compete against his female opponent and forfeited the match, citing personal and religious reasons, making Cassandra the first female to win a match in a state tournament. He stuck to his convictions on probably the biggest stage in wrestling in the nation, I would argue, let alone in Iowa. It's those convictions and principles that Joel Northrup's parents say they have been teaching their son since he was a young boy. And despite the frenzy he's created and endured over the past week, they are proud of his decision. And joining us from Cedar Rapids, Iowa now is Joel Northrup. Joel, good morning to you. Uh, tell us in your words, why did you decide to forfeit this match? Well, I mean, wrestling is a combat sport and it gets violent at times and you get put in compromising holds and positions and I just don't feel it's right that a boy should engage a girl in a manner like this. You have worked really hard for this. Uh, so has Cassie. You're both very passionate about your sport. She clearly understands, to get to the level that both of you are at, what this sport entails, that there are a lot of rough moments. And she would know, too, that you weren't going after her as a girl, but as an opponent. Being that she's okay with it, why, why can't you then, in fact, step in the ring with her? Well, like I just said, I mean, it, you get put in holds and, that are compromising, and I mean, she deserves to be out there, but I do believe that if she does wrestle, she should wrestle other girls, and I should wrestle other boys. She doesn't always have the opportunity, of course, to, to wrestle only girls. Um, do you feel that you, you were cheating her out of an opportunity at all to give her a win in, in, in this way with a forfeit? Well, it, it's kind of a tough situation. Um, I don't believe so. I mean, um, I just had to stick to my convictions, mm -hmm. and it's, it's hard for her, but um, I had to just hold on to what I, I decided in fifth grade that I wouldn't wrestle a girl. And, and you know, that's not an easy thing for, for anyone to do at any age. You've had a lot of backlash since, since you made this decision as well. People have called you uh, a chauvinist, they've called you sexist. You've also had people who said you were chivalrous, that you were a gentleman. How are you dealing with all of those labels and names uh, being thrown at you? I mean, it's fine. I really don't care what the people say, but um, um, there's been some people that are for me and t people that are totally against me, but... Do you feel that um, any of those I know labels? What I did was right. Do you feel that any of those labels fit you? Um, I don't. I mean, it's people's opinion, but uh, I just had to hold true to my convictions. And have you spoken to Cassie much since this happened? No, not really. I've spoken to her dad a little bit. Um, he's come up to me and talked to me. He's a real nice guy. What What did he say about I your decision? I haven't spoken to her much. He said he totally agrees with it, and um, he knows I have as my my convictions, and he totally totally accepts it. Well, Joel, we wish you uh, the best of luck as you continue uh, with your wrestling career in the next okay. few years. Thanks for taking some time for us this morning. Okay, thank you very much.